Welcome back to coastal South Carolina. As you can see around me, it's been wet. It's been raining a couple of days. It's been about eight days since I planted the garden. And so I wanted you to show you the progress, but also talk about one of the problems that we face in outdoor hydroponics. And that's what happens when your system is uh, flooded with several days of rain. So stick with me as I take you into the garden and show you what's been happening. I'm not sure if you can hear the rain on my uh, photographer's umbrella who's covering the camera, but it's raining again. Uh, there's rain on my uh, fertilizer reservoir and it creates a problem that we face in outdoor hydroponics and that's what happens if you have good steady long rain and your system floods. If I pull the top back, you can see how full the reservoir is. I filled this reservoir probably three days ago and it should be probably only a third of what's in here now. The rest of it is uh, rainwater that's come into the system. And so the question is, uh, what problem does rainwater cause to the dilution of your fertilizer? I think if it's for a short period of time, it's not going to make much difference. Uh, especially in the summertime. In the summertime, this amount of water would be um, taken up, drained, used, evaporated in one day. I'd have to fill it again. Here in the spring, uh, without as much heat, it doesn't evaporate as much. And so for me, it's kind of a, uh, a guesstimate. If I have a lot of water for a long period of time, I'll go and mix my fertilizer in my five gallon bucket like I do and rather than filling the bucket all the way up, I'll mix the solution and make sure it's dissolved in a small amount and then bring it out and dump it in the bucket and that just raises my fertilizer level in the water. And I just guess. I, uh, I don't have any scientific method for measuring it. So I do that uh, if I'm worried. But last year I had peppers and tomatoes that grew 10 feet tall. And so what you'll find is you, uh, you'll have success. You don't have to fret uh, over uh, the small fluctuations. You just keep track of it and your plants will love you for it. It also helps that when you come out with your cup of coffee to check the plants that as you walk around and uh, look at them you pray because uh, God ultimately is the one that gives us the fruit. And so I hope you get as much pleasure out of a cup of coffee in your garden and the fruit that it produces as we have. So come back, we'll be talking about additional things that we face in our garden. So have a great day. If you can see as I walk by these peppers how the system is going, and again, what I do is take these out in the morning just to make sure that my system is running. Go and check each one of those. As you see, this is red bell pepper. And uh, this introduces another problem that I was speaking to you about. Uh, what do you do with trash that comes into your system from uh, the wind? and also algae. As you'll notice the top of my bucket which was white and clean a week ago is now turning has a green hue to it and the reason why is because of algae growth in the sunlight. I'm not sure there's any way to deal with it. Uh, some of y'all can comment on that and give me some help with outdoor hydroponics. Um, but uh, it's just one of the things I lived with. I found that it uh, didn't affect peppers and tomatoes growing outside uh, last year and so you just have to kind of kind of live with it but you can see there uh, stuff from the oak trees and also blossoms that blew from the plum behind me uh, that's what it looks like and come around to the tomatoes and you can find them doing just great after a week look at the growth on that tomato Wow, I'm excited. First blossoms. All right.